50% of college grads said their degree did not prepare them for their job. This from a new study from Fortune. Let me make sure that's right. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Let me do another take. That was right on. And I was like, is it Forbes or Fortune? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, take two. 50% of college grads said their school, their degree did not prepare them for their job and for their career. This is from a new study from Fortune magazine surveying recent college grads in the UK, Australia, and the United States. So this isn't just an American issue. What is going on? Well, it seems as though the business world moves a lot faster, changes a lot faster, pivots a lot faster than the education system and the institution. And so it's a big problem. So this is beginning to create a value proposition problem for colleges and universities. I mean, these polls aren't just, you know, we put them out there. I mean, people think about this. They talk about this. They tell their friends, their loved ones, their younger siblings. I mean, higher education is in real trouble if they don't wake up and say, maybe we should start partnering with business to learn what they need from young candidates coming out of college. And we work together to train them and prepare them. 61% said their actual work experience is what prepared them for the current role that they're in. In other words, they got in and they began to learn and do. And it was the experience of learning and doing in the work that allowed them to climb the ladder. Formal on-the-job training And life experience ranked number two and three as what prepared me best. So college isn't even cracking the top three things that are helping people win professionally. Three quarters of respondents believe that their current employer offers learning and development programs that adapt to their specific needs. This is great. And I think companies are waking up to this fact. Not so much as an employee benefit, although I would like to think that's what they're doing. But I think they're going, we actually have to create on-the-job training. Because they're not coming to us ready, and so we take good people with some talent, and we train them and add skills to their repertoire. 59% do feel empowered to ask for better programs to suit their needs. That's good as well. Raising your hand to say, hey, listen, I'm willing to get training. I'm willing to go to a conference. I'm willing to fill in the blank. And a leader understanding that goes, hey, I would rather pay for that than pay for what it's going to take to replace you. I want folks to understand that very key point. You have leverage. You don't be a turd about it and go demand it, but understand that when you raise your hand and you say, I want more training so that I could be better, if they don't meet that need, they know you could walk. And when you walk, it causes them all kinds of time and money problems to replace you. So don't be a turd. Act like a nerd. The nerd wants to learn, and they want to keep you. There it is. That's incredible professional advice, by the way. All right, now, interestingly enough, where do most young people learn? Where do they want to learn? Is it on-the-job training? Is it from an older mentor? No, it's from TikTok and YouTube. Ha! The short-form video. That's where everybody's going. 42% of employees prefer using short form videos under three minutes in length. So that means if you are in the corporate training game, you better start making three minute videos or less because if you you don't do that, they're going to go to TikTok or YouTube and they're going to watch it. They prefer short form content. Second only to on the job training with an instructor. So hands on is the best short form video next. All right. This is what's happening Maybe, just maybe, if you're thinking about college, you should consider another path because I think there's probably a better way. Check it out.